City and Long Island and whoever else ends up coming. In this case, it is Long Island. Why haven't we adopted Long Island as like the sixth borough by now? We really should at this point. I don't know what the history is there. I'm not hey, a native hey, New hey, Yorker. Hey, 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 anyway, the, the most history. New York they are is that they pay our taxes. Okay, <laughs> that's right. All right, well, let's but keep that's it taxation up. without right. representation. I I we are political today. Them What's going on? They're bagels. Oh, <laughs> whoa! We got to pivot in. Uh, They're still out there. <laughs> I only get my bagels in New York. Cease. Fair, fair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mystery and Carflow. Both sorties here swinging for the fences. This is as quintessential of, hey, who are you? I'm you, but stronger. Oh, <laughs> and don't. That, and that's E, not E. That's yeah. Lucina and Cloud. This meta really rewards high strengths in specific areas rather than the generalist that Lucina can be mm -hmm. a little bit more. And because Cloud has that extra X factor, you have so much to do, but you uh, supplement that with an extra big weakness that he is absolutely exploiting limited options off stage. And it's that continued harassment is allowing E to establish this lead, at least for the moment. Yeah, something that uh, separates Mr. E from literally any other Lucina, except maybe a couple in Japan, their edge guarding is immaculate. Once you're off stage, you're as good as dead. But on stage, you get those options like up smash and just, yep, what can Lucina do versus that range? Yeah, you gotta play a very specific spacing game and doing so effectively there, looking for a option to uh, force Cloud off stage yet again, but with Limit Online, Carpo can play a little bit more recklessly and is putting out a ton of these forward airs. He's been doing this all bracket, just like very specifically spaced, fast fall forward airs, cover all of that dimension. Just to stop reaching the for the sky. But it, not gonna kill here on Town and City though. Carpo's oh, a fast no. player, but he's got to keep up with E. There's no jump to be had, but no final edge guard attempt. The Dolphin Slash did not clip Carflo when E needed it. All right, no punish there. And yep, you're going to get that cross slash, and Mr. E is going to some nice coverage there with the Shield Breaker. Ooh. Wow, that was such an ambiguous cross up there from Carflo. He's looking so good right now, driving straight on by, but letting rip the uh, limit. Climb hazard too soon, and it's going to result in his stock just like that. Yeah, and but Carful answering right back. Mr. E just pretty much one hit from death here. Yeah. Almost. Not a good DI. Not charged up. Oh, that was a nair. That was it, anything. It was a nair, but I don't think Carful believed. It's like, okay, if I throw it out, it could get countered. That, that timing is tricky. Yeah, that risk is something you don't want to take. Uh-oh, you've got limit. They're alive. Wow. Made it back. Carflow getting parried. That's the importance of keeping track of your limit gauge. Oftentimes, cloud players will charge it just before, uh, just before it's fully uh, completed. So that way, they gain it either by getting hit or giving out a hit, so, and you can turn it into a combo. Mm -hmm. Mystery doesn't really mind waiting like that out. But then again, it's not like Arsene. Oh no! And in the mixer. Yeah. The spinning mixer keeps on spinning. Carflow finding the two frame just like that. And you know, that's what I'm saying a little bit earlier, Swiss. You just, when you have a character like Cloud and Lucina, they're going to match up pretty well in a lot of the bones of the stage. But if we look here, gosh, that was so instant. I mean, yeah. that dolphin splash goes pretty fast. So you have to like have that time perfectly. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You see the illusion right there. It's mid it's barely clipped. It's mid swing. Mm -hmm. So while Lucina needs to set up and run off stage and sweep underneath and like mm -hmm. have more intent behind it, Carflow can throw that downer out and then instantly shift. Plays a lot faster, a lot more uh, in your face with some of the options that you have available and what you can be doing in order to try and close out the stock. We are opting for a smaller stage here. I think Carflo realized that their jump wasn't there anymore. So they're like, you know what? I'm not even yeah, going to attempt. We're right. going to keep this going. That's the... Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. That's the downside when oh. you have such high strengths. You can also come with such, uh, such big weaknesses and no jump is... Uh, no keys to the car. And hey, you know what? High strength isn't everything. Just look at Little Mac. True. Okay. Little, uh, Peanut just got top 16 in a major. I mean, yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Little Max Ox rising. Ooh, speaking oh, of which, Dolphin Slash fine. also rising. No tragedy. Carflow just looking so frazzled here on Smashville. A much smaller stage. Mystery able to 
you know, control space a lot more. Going through these mixes, getting a little too fancy there. Yeah, this is a classic E and Lucina counter pick. Uh, Smashville just offers so much for what Lucina wants to do, which is just control space. Like, she's not necessarily moving exceptionally fast, but it's with a lot of intent and a lot of coverage. And Smashville, your sword just consumes a lot more space. Mm -hmm. We are, we do still have the same problem, though. That down air will go through the ledge. We oh, need yeah. that. Carflow can repeat what they did last game. Nice climb hazard with the limits. Bringing us through the second stock. As you were saying, Swiss, the X-Factor is certainly there, but an air dodge not getting down in order to down tilt the ledge just quick enough. Carflow still follow with Dolphin Slash, just getting that extra damage. And even with that punish, eh, you take those percents. Yeah, it's so different how much, like, Cross Slash in the early game or in an even stop game is like, man, that 21, it hits so hard. But when you're down two stocks to one, it's like, oh, I can take 21, no problem, as we are going for it. Getting a phantom footstool, wow. though. E wanting to end the game right there in a beautiful fashion. Okay, Instead, no tech? That was untackable. Yeah. Carful uh, knew it. was not untackable. That was not untackable? I, I thought I saw the red flash. Nah, it was a, uh, well, let's take a look. All right, come on. My eyes aren't that bad. Let us take a peek, slow it down. Splash? Eh? Nah. No? No. It's pretty the, red. The, the red here yeah. is on impact. Uh, but if it was unteckable, mm. all of this would be red. Oh, all right. My eyes are that bad, then. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, and we're back to town and city go. where Carflow won the first game. See if this yeah. is still their lucky stage. It, it, it more looks to capitalize on those peaks and valleys. Town, uh, Town of City is a naturally swingy stage, which is why it's a counter pick. Uh, Cloud wants to find ways in order to abuse his speed and find different levels of platforms in order to extend his advantage. And just by the nature of it also flipping to FD, you also get some, uh, some moments of your range against mine, which Cloud typically wins those battles. Yep. Oh no, off stage. This is dangerous. No jump left. Sometimes it's that easy. Yeah, Carflow <laughs> uh, Carflo just cannot go off stage against Mr. E. Has died for it more times than not. And you can't go in with those neutral airs. If it gets caught, that anti air with the up smash is just too good. Yeah, good good awareness on the part of Carflow here, Swiss, because we're seeing Carflow be very measured in his options out of shield, whether it be the safe one in Crime Hazard or letting rip those up smashes, depending on how low he sees E landing with that aerial. Unfortunate missed follow-up on that dash tag, and I don't think he re Oh, he no, did he land. Has a jump. Oh, no. Okay. Finally manages to make it back. Damage. It's so much. But 21 apiece. Oh, Def no. Depending Ooh. on stealing, you're still alive here, Carpo, with the roll on, but he scouted that out. His ledge trapping so good, so experienced. Just like that. And last stock situation for Carflow. Is he going to be able to make this back, or is Mr. E going to go into Grand Finals and wait for maybe the run back? Okay. Good spot dodge, just waiting. And avoid that range. Oh my gosh, Mr. E looking so clean. Finally got the footstool. Hear that little sound as the whoop. You'll never whoop. Beat me. Whoop. That was the perfect stock. Like, holy. Let us go just, yeah. we don't even get the very beginning of it. I'm going to start from the beginning okay. of how far back we can go. Yeah. Well, which, that, that's how far we got. Mansion's the run up, gets so the up tilt. It starts out here, right? Like Because mm -hmm. Carflow is in advantage here, but because of a missed forward air around like this location mm -hmm. and like a lot of fainting pressure, Carflow feels like he needs to back off. Yeah, Mystery was just kind of standing there, waiting, and finally... Carflow just backed off right about here, and then when Mystery actually landed, Carflow rolls back right there, and that's an easy punish with an up tilt. Yeah, just a, like simple following, and then the next, the rest of it is just, let me clear this up. The rest of it is just bread and butter. It's like up tilt onto the platform. Tech situation, read it up air. Follow up with a true combo up air after it, and then you see the jump. Like right. the, the second up air is true, this forward air is simply chase, depending on uh, what seeing what Carflow does in disadvantage because he has to pick a defensive option. Climb Hazard isn't quick enough. Yeah. So he just choose, he chooses to jump and the jump being taken by this forward air tells E midway, oh, 
follow the DI. Read mm -hmm. the DI line that you can see right here going up and away towards the platform. E can see that, chases towards the platform as we zoom out and follow along. This double jump nair covers both tech roll, tech in place and tech roll in, as well as lands him on the platform mm -hmm. for potential chase and reaction to tech roll away. Right. Just all high percentage plays, all about coverage, all about making sure that your spacing and your positioning is steadily pushing your opponent deeper and deeper into this hole before you go for your finishing move, which could be a down air, could be an edge guard, could be a forward air, could be back air, could be grabbing the ledge and like, doing a drop zone. Doesn't matter. E goes for the flare with the footstool. But the layers and the steps taken is just pure bread and butter fundamentals about finding your hit, pushing advantage, awareness of resources, and then closing out the stock.